the store is in desperate need of storage expansion. We need to add some new products, try to hire some staff, and get this store into a profitable state. So let's go. So far, I've been surviving just by selling four types of beer and working to keep that stocked. But I think it's time to expand the inventory and start carrying a couple other goods. What I want to do is also sell a little bit of water and some soft drinks and also start carrying a little bit of wine to increase the variety in the store. I do have a pretty high population of retirees in the city and even though they might be on a budget, I'm guessing they'll probably like to kick back with some Chardonnay at their meal. But first, I need to increase my delivery capacity. These two pallets just don't seem to be adequate and even hold stock for what I've got. And I probably also need to increase my storage capacity so it can hold what I unpack from my delivered boxes. So we'll try a couple days here, build up a little bit of cash, and see if we can increase our storage. I'd also like to hire somebody, but what I'm really looking for is an entry-level person and someone that can help me run the register. I actually kind of enjoy the activity of unpacking the boxes and stocking the shelves, but my delivery guy doesn't even get here till the middle of the day, after the store opens, and it gets a little hectic trying to get everything unboxed, stocked on the shelves, and run the register. So let me check out some of these resumes and see if anybody fits the bill. Okay, Porter, we're going to give you a shot here. What kind of skills you got? Okay, you got nothing on the register, but you are trainable, maybe. Sales I really don't need, and marketing would be good, but I just don't think you have what it takes. Brienne, it's your time. Let's see what you got. Absolutely no register experience, got some stocking and some sales, but I'm sorry, you're just not what we're looking for. Bernard, let's see what you have to offer. Are you good at the register? No, you do not. You do not have register skills at all. The only redeeming quality you have is a little bit of marketing. But if I can get you cheap enough, I suppose you can work here. We're going to try out some minimum wage. And you're not happy with that, okay? You want to get annoyed? I get it. We'll increase that to get a very respectable wage of approximately $10 an hour. And I don't know what they're paying you at your previous job, but I'm telling you, $11.10 an hour is probably as high as I can go. And it's okay. You say it's okay, so I'll hire you. But you know what? I've changed my mind. You're not even capable of running the register, even at a low skill level. So I'm sorry. You're already fired before your first day. I know it's a harsh corporation, but that's how it goes. We'll give you a chance, Orion. You have no register experience either, so I hate to tell you, but this interview is over before it even started. And Paulette, you're my last hope today. This is our most desperate hour. We're gonna see what you've got to offer. Can you work the register? No, you can't. So good luck on the mean streets. Well, I guess it's time to do another day and increase our cash flow. Okay, time to throw down another shelf and get the store ready for the new merchandise. And I'm going to go with my tried and true standard shelving here. Look at that, right in front of the front door. People are going to see that and be drawn to it like magnets. I don't have any merchandise to put in it yet, but we'll deal with that next. All right, so we seem to have had a decent day. Let's get set up for more of that delivery storage so we can hold some more of that merchandise that's gonna come in. So, okay, that's a little expensive and maybe we shouldn't overextend right now. But that delivery unit will be mine. I'm not giving you anything. We'll see. Okay, we're into the soft drinks area here and I wish I could get some water. I'd like a glass of water. I 
we'll pick up some of these fizzy beverages in Cialesa. A couple different kinds will be enough for now, because after all, I don't even have my delivery storage set up yet. Corporation is in funding danger? What do you mean? We're making money. Okay, so there it is. Looks like the corporate funds is at negative $25 and some change. So for reasons I don't fully understand yet, I need to somehow add funds to my corporation to keep it going, even though my store is making a profit. All right, I still don't have enough money to get my nice delivery unit, so we'll just have to sell some more goods and make some more money. Okay, so that was a pretty decent day. Made some decent money, was able to get my big delivery unit, and after expenses, a little pocket change left over. Oh, and now look, back at the office, I'm getting the nasty gram emails that my corporation is about to go bankrupt. So clearly, this cannot be ignored. And I really don't even have enough money to repurchase my goods. And I seem to be falling further in the hole with my corporation. So let's get to the HQ and see if we can't get this figured out. The problem is, though I have no idea where this action to actually add the corporate funds is supposed to happen, other than what I see here in terms of the percent going to the corporate fee. So we'll bump that up and see what happens with another day at the store. All right, so I got my colas all stocked up and maybe it'll be a popular item. Okay, it was a good day of profits and we needed that, but I'm not sure that fixed my corporate funding problem. And clearly the threatening emails haven't stopped coming in. So time to take some more drastic measures here. Let's try taking out a loan at the bank and see if that can't help our money problem a little. Loans rarely solve financial crises, but we are making profit each day, so I think we can handle it. And I tell you what, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's take out some advertising to start pumping up those sales. A nice little beverage ad in Simple Life to appeal to the farmers and ecologists. Run that for two days. And still financial troubles. So better go to the city and back to HQ and figure out what we need to do. This is probably our last chance. And speaking of chances, we have our winner for the Eco Giveaway. The lucky winner is Brian Senkier. To redeem your prize, send me an email to my business email you'll find on my channel homepage and include your Steam profile name. And that'll begin getting this prize into your hands so you can start enjoying Eco. But here in HQ, after much searching, clicking on the store in the Concept Store's whiteboard opened the ability to transfer funds to the corporation. So with that loan money I took out earlier, I was able to keep my company afloat. And there you have it. We've found inadequate people to work in the store, almost lost our entire corporation due to player incompetence, and maybe a little bit of hidden game design, got some soft drinks going, posted some basic advertising, and took out a loan to create more debt. Are we doing okay? I'm not sure, but hopefully that increase in the percentage rolling over to the corporate fee will keep my corporate funds from slowly dwindling and causing bankruptcy. Maybe just higher volumes and profits at the store would have done that too. I'm not sure. And really, I thought this game would be quite a bit easier, but I'm glad that it's proving to be a little challenging, at least so far. We'll keep chipping away at it. Take care, and I'll be talking to you later.